production line of our China factory. So we have two production line parallel. This is workshop four, and at that side we have workshop three. So each of them have like a 500 megawatts production capacity. So after the upgrade of this year about our production line, we have reached the maximum automation level. So basically everything you see is automatically uh, produced and we also integrate like AI function for the quality inspection and also we have promote like AGV robots for the raw material loading. Mm -hmm. So from the start we cut in the first cell into half pieces and we do the streaming process to make the cells uh, collected with each other in serious collection and we do the first EL check so through the EL check, you can see the invisible cracks or some great disconnections, some defects which you cannot see uh, by your liquid dyes. And after that, we do the layout process. We put the cell strings, sub cell strings, onto the EVA and also the back sheet or the glass and move on. That's one of the reasons why when you look at the solar modules, the bus bars are completely in line Yes. There's no mistakes. Yes. What are the chances that the robots would make a mistake? It's almost right. impossible. Because the whole production line was controlled by the mass system. Okay. If you go against or go outside of the criteria, yes. the mass system will be alarmed. You can see the alarm on the machines. It will shut down the operation. And the engineers or the operators will go come and check what's the root cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That this is exactly what I keep explaining to to our customers mm -hmm. it's because you know sometimes customers Filipinos they have this idea of, mm -hmm. of China mm -hmm. they think people are just manually doing it yes it's, it's not it's like 10 years ago it, it's not like that anymore everything is automated already our first production line was introduced back to I think it's uh, 2006 2006. It's half manual and half automation. But after like a two generation upgrades about the machinery, now we reach the highest level, like I just told you. We have integrated like the mass system, the AI function for the quality control, and also the HV robots. We don't need so much labor force to do the work. So less labor force, less mistake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything on the kitchen is controlled by the machine. And we have screen on each work, work uh, shop. So it's, everything is about automation and also quality control. So how many gigawatts does this factory? 1.2, maximum. 1 .2. So you can see all the data is protection data, sounds monitor. All the data? Yeah, yeah the data. data. Mm -hmm. So controlled by the AI function. So you put the sap strings onto the EVA and also the back sheet, and then you go to the uh, bus passing machine. Mm -hmm. You collect the sap strings mm -hmm. into the parallel collection. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you do the second layout. You put another EVA onto it. And finally, you will go to the lamination okay. to melt it to the EVA to protect the cells. Yes. But before that, we have a second EL, EL uh, inspection port mm -hmm. to check the soldering. All the solar cells here are already connected. So one special thing about our company is we build the machinery by ourselves. We have a special company to produce the machinery for us. So it can go the way as we want it to be. What we're manufacturing right now is a P-type solar module. Is this a P-type solar module? It looks like I, a type I cannot tell the difference just by the look. I need to see the product the labor. <laughs> but also we can count in like the bus bar. I think based on the bus bar, this is a N-type. It's the robot hand that automatically puts the cells in line together in order for us to achieve perfect alignment. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about any mistakes. So today we didn't actually do the mass production because it's a video day. Okay. 
We have uh, another, you know, professional team to shooting our whole production line. But, you know, basically you can see how it's... Really good. That robot arm is for lif lifting up the, the glass. The glass. Yes. Okay. The other robot arm is for placing the cells. Yes. All the lifting up and action is performed by the robot arms. Basically, it's an assembling, assembling second layout, class. You put them all together and go into the EL inspection, like I told you, to the second check. Yes. So every every module, all the cells are tested. Yes. We have a lot of in-house testing and also the third-party testing. Yes. So for in in-house testing, we do the 100% check, like uh, three EL testing during the uh, uh, first after after the cutting. Yes. We have the first EL, and during the string process, the second one, and before lamination, the third one, and for the finished product, we have the fourth one. So there be no defect get out of the factory. Yes. So here is the laminators, very giant machines. It is the two floor laminators. You have 12 chamber at the same time. So it's very key process. So you have to make sure the salt and temperature and also the pressure to make sure there's no air bubble inside of the... So it's like uh, putting the sandwich into a hot spot and you melt it. You melt the cheese. Yes. yes, yes. So it's all the, the glass and the silicon wafers the cells are like yeah heat together laminated yes. together yes and after the laminating process yes we have to work a long way so here after the lamination we do the trimming process you know, in case that some EVA residue the wrap edge we need to trimming down the wrap edge and then we put the frame on the modules mm -hmm. and then we uh, soldering the junction box uh, to the patterns then we go to the cuff line the cuff line means you, you keep a certain temperature and the humidity to fasten the how to say the modules need to cool down yes. so that the, the junction boxes are are cool and set in place no or it's even, cool. even the cells even it's mainly for the encapsulation materials, the EVA or POE or PET. Okay. And also you use the silicone in the frame. Yes, yes. yes. Right. To cool that down. In yes, cool that down during the coping process. Where was the, the frame installed? At that way. Maybe oh. you can see in that one. Okay, so, so the, the solar modules are so right here and then went through there. Yeah. It's so fascinating. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So here, from the solar modules, the cells that was placed on the white... What, what do you call that material, the white one, in the back of the solar module? Back sheet. Right? Yeah. Back sheet, EVA, encapsulation, they are all encapsulation materials. So the back sheet, now it's laminated in frame, and it's going to go into the cooling area. No. That's already coming out from the cooling area. Oh, okay. And then we do the check. The testing. So, the so at that workshop, we flip the panels upside down mm -hmm. and we do the check, visual check at mm -hmm. both sides and we do the manual cleaning. For this process cannot be operated by the machinery because uh, we don't want any scratch on the glass side. I think, yeah, you're right. I think this is right? speed eye. And then it goes to the uh, electrical characteristic testing. So we have a sound simulator. We call that the dark room. There's no sunlight leakage or going inside of the, in case it will affect the testing result. Mm -hmm. So we have a AAA uh, variated sound simulator. So this is a key process about, you know, how. so we have to guarantee what we have sold to the customer is a real data. So the key things is about use the verification of our uh, sound simulator. We have to uh, regular control about our sound sim simulator. We have done like uh, regularly like, uh, twice a month calibration. Uh, sorry, calibration. We have to send to the uh, CPVT, yeah. as seen as a credit a credit uh, third party tested laboratory. They do the 
uh, calibration fast yeah. to make sure it is accurate. No. That, that, those solar modules right there, are, are they done? No. They're not done yet? They'll go to that way and then another circle to this way. With this process, you're really producing a lot of solar modules. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, sorting based on current, mm -hmm. or sorting uh, based on voltage, mm -hmm. or sorting based on the power range. Mm -hmm because they have a slightly difference with each other. Yeah. So if Casma want to control in your two megawatts projects, mm -hmm. you want to make sure all the, uh, the current are consistent with each other. Mm -hmm. So you can make it like a three steps, each step based on 0 0.1 ampere. Okay. Okay. So it's based on the order's requirement. But wouldn't that take a long time testing each and every single one? No, it's, everything is automatic. Okay. It's just controlled by the computer. Okay. You have all the information is in the chips. You have told uh, him about our NFC technology, right? NFC chips, yes. 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 We have application, so uh, customers can check whether our panel is like, really a solar yes. purchase okay. or it's fake. All right. So this is how we can protect our panel. Okay. Yes. So another function is about we integrated all the like a uh, burst information so of this. Uh, yeah, so patterns inside of the chips, you can check everything. Technical, even, even the what? Again, Tec technical information is embedded in Yes, the like the yeah. model name, like uh, when and well it is manufactured. Mm -hmm. All the things you, you can track in back okay. uh -huh. On the in our system. database, in our cloud database. So basically that's all of our production process. All right, so who this is? Uh, JJ, right? Yes, JJ. So it's our marketing, marketing director. Yeah. Go to shoot some videos. Shoot professional videos. Uh -huh. yeah. We have in total four production lines in this factory. Yes. For these two, they are compatible with Perk and Popcorn. I think that maybe P type and N type is still going to be used in the market for a very long time. Yes. Because the machines and the equipment here are still. Still brand new. It yes, still so new. it's brand new. It's brand new. So we can assure ourselves that the the manufacturing of the solar modules are the best quality. We will not say we are the best quality. You know, just what you saw in our factory is the, the real thing we give to the customer. You, your customer judge by themselves. Yeah. <laughs>